Ever question why some of the brightest minds, despite their degrees and high-flying jobs, struggle to attain financial freedom? This conundrum lies at the heart of Robert T. Kiyosaki's influential book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Enter the world of two fathers with contrasting philosophies. One the well-educated, professionally stable but financially constrained poor dad, the other the less formally educated but financially astute rich dad. Poor dad represents the conventional wisdom ingrained in us from an early age. Get a good education, secure a stable job, and save bit by bit for the future. It's a safe path, a comfortable path. But does it lead to financial freedom? Kiyosaki's own biological father, the embodiment of poor dad, would argue not. On the other side of the coin, we have rich dad, Kiyosaki's best friend's father. He didn't have an impressive degree or a high-ranking job, but what he did have was an understanding of money's dynamics. Rich dad knew the difference between assets, things that put money into your pocket and liabilities, things that take money out of your pocket. A key point Kiyosaki makes is that many of us mislabel our homes as assets, not realizing the ongoing expenses they carry. But why does this misunderstanding persist? Kiyosaki points a finger at the traditional education system. It may produce efficient employees, but it often fails to foster financial literacy and entrepreneurship. This gap leaves many academically accomplished individuals trapped in the rat race, working tirelessly with limited financial growth. So what's the alternative? Rich Dad's philosophy, of course. Embrace the entrepreneurial spirit. Seek multiple income avenues. Grasp investment opportunities. Don't let fear and limited financial understanding hold you back from wealth building opportunities. Yes, investments can be risky, but they also bring growth and invaluable lessons. To sum it up, Rich Dad Poor Dad is a call to action. It's about rethinking money, challenging norms, and actively engaging in your financial journey. It's about choosing savvy and understanding over conventional wisdom. And most importantly, it's about realizing that financial freedom isn't a product of how much you earn, but how much you know.